Let me guess, you already spared a thought about Italy. So now, if you think about your national dish, does it also bring memories of your childhood? Have you ever wondered why food is strongly connected to our nationalities and consequently to our identities? There is a famous quote, tell me what you eat and I will tell you who you are. Indeed, nowadays, food is less of an element of survival. Food plays a key role in personality development and is an important part of our sense of identity. During our lives, we constantly form our food preferences. When, how, and where we eat define our culture, identity, and lifestyle. These identity and food ways can be well observed in the immigrant's experiences. Peter is Polish. He came to Edinburgh five years ago to work as a chef. Today, we asked him if after spending years abroad, he still prepares Polish food in home and whether it is important to him. Of course that food from my country is important to me. I still cook my favorite Polish dishes in home. I cook also uh, many different uh, dishes from other countries. It's normal if you work as a chef. Uh, one of my favorites is dumplings because remember remembers me my grandmother uh, used to cook for me. Uh, when I cook something un unusual for a British taste, I go to the specialist shops. There is many Polish shops you can find wherever you need to cook. For immigrants, being able to buy their national products and cuisine is a very important factor of living in a foreign country, as it is part of the feeling at home sensation and increases their comfort and security. Gordon Rule works as a hospitality lecturer at Napier University. His speciality is food and beverage with special regards to wine trade. What we eat and drink uh, specifically in Scotland and if we're looking in a wider context at the, the world, it, it is very much depending on geography. Uh, we eat what we can produce, essentially, uh, and those become our staple diet foods. In Scotland, we have many different varieties of potatoes, and we can fry a potato, we can boil it, we can roast it, uh, etc. And we tend to have a potato with every meal. If you were in Asia, or, um, uh, India, you, you would have rice, for example, and then something else to fill the meal out. Although assimilation may be hard to achieve, especially during the first months of staying in a foreign country, it also means that immigrants can share a glimpse of their food, culture and customs while building up the vital connections in their new home. Raul is Spanish and arrived to Edinburgh from Valencia three years ago through a company transfer. We asked him about his first experiences about the Scottish cuisine. When I arrived from Spain, I found the Scottish cuisine a bit strange because I didn't know much about it. They have the haggis and Spain have something similar and what they most miss probably the fruits and vegetables because in here are not the same quality but they have salmon and they have very nice beef as well. So it's just the way to cook it, the most important, but I would prefer the Spanish way. Our world is shaped by multiculturalism. Foreign cuisine broadens people's cultural experiences and intensifies the bond between those from the same ethnic group, giving them a feeling of belonging. That's why we all feel the same bittersweet nostalgia whenever we read the sign in a kitchen, Home Sweet Home.